my arm. There's so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side. Hello there. Rainbows are visions, but only illusion. Oh. Hello there. You know, when it comes to like so many different movies in general, the original movie will always be successful. And then so far, what happens next? You get sequels. Some sequels can be good. Well, our time is they can be pretty bad. Like with the Rocky movies, is to like Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, The Godfather, or just to name a few here and there. But there's so many different art movies that definitely deserve this to be on right here. And that is the Muppet franchise. Ah, oh, yes, the Muppets. When it comes to the Muppets in general, with their successful shows and or movies, one particular move that definitely brought a whole new generation for a lot of people over the years, and that is the 2011 The Muppets. After all, I think after what just happened to Muppets from Space, I'm looking right at you. Yes, you. With the not successful of Muppets from Space here and there when it comes to storytelling, the lack of the well known celebrity cameos into the movie, and you know, stuff like that, I definitely feel. You know, like, you know, like the Muppets could use a little bit of some upgrading and stuff, and probably for future generations. That is where the 2011 The Muppets came in, and it definitely did so and well at the box office, and, uh, along with the help from Jason Segel, who wanted to bring the Muppets back into the big screens of movie. Yeah, very well done there, Jason Segel. Uh, proud of you. And you know, what really caught my attention it was this particular uh, uh, scene in the movie where Waldor uh, and Staff uh, uh, along uh, with uh, with Uncle Dead, Lee Boba the Bear, and the new uh, villain of the movie, Tex Merchant, uh, uh, walk into uh, Kermit's old office room where Walter uh, had to hide for a bit because somebody was like coming in. And then it literally paused on me, and I started to think. So I've been wondering, like, wait a minute. The standard rich and famous contract that was signed 30 years ago by Kermit the Frog? From, like, the very first Muppet movie. And I'm like, wait a minute. Could a 2011 The Muppets be an actual sequel to the original Muppet movie? Well, let's go ahead and find out, shall we? You know, after re-watching this particular movie over and over and over again, I started to do some puzzling and start to think about about the actual setting thing in 2011 The Muppet. And you know what? I have a theory on this one here, folks. So try to bear with me on this one here, okay? Ah, waka waka. Okay, I'll stop now. But anyways, here is what my theory is. And I don't know if it's 100% on this one. Here's this. So, this is somewhat a theory, but an actual wild guess here. More of a wild guess than an actual theory here and there. But other than that, now let me tell you something here. I did a lot of thinking right now, and uh, uh, still thinking about what Little Waldorf basically just uh, said about Kermit Sign named the Standard Rich and Famous contract 30 years ago. And then it came to me. I definitely think, think and I don't know if this is 100% or not, but my own theory and wild guess is this. 
The actual setting in 2001 of the Muppets takes place in 2009. That's right, you heard me right. The movie literally takes place in 2009. So remember when I said before that Waldorf basically told Tex Richmond that Kermit signed the standard rich and famous contract 30 years ago? Well, here's the thing, though. Yeah, remember back in 1979 when the uh, Muppet movie was released? This in this particular scene where uh, Kermit had a game, yeah, but mostly Kermit signed the standard rich and famous contract that literally took place 30 years ago. Yeah, back in the past. You see where I'm getting at, folks? So. Uh, so it's been almost it was 30 years since Kermit signed the standard rich and famous contract, which means it was 30 years into the future. Uh, sure, the actual setting thing in the year uh, that took place was in 2009 uh, in the 2011 The Muppet Movie the, of The Muppets, which is absolutely in insane right now because. 30 years has been a long time since any of the Muppets did any movies and shows back then. But when you compare it to any other Muppet films, like The Great Muppet King, or Muppets Take Manhattan, then Muppet Christmas Carol, Muppet Treasure Island, and Muppets from Space, they're all just basically just standalone films. But, but with the original Muppet movie, it is totally connected to the 2011 in the Muppet, and it's along with the follow-up of uh, Muppet Most Wanted, this definitely proves there's one thing and one thing only. That, the 2011 The Muppet is, is an actual sequel uh, to the original Muppet movie the year, uh, since this, the actual setting of the uh, place is in 2011 The Muppets takes place in 2009. Basically, Almost 30 years ago, uh, since Kurt Man again signed in the standard rich and famous contract uh, to do movies and shows uh, for over the years. Now, like I said before, I don't know if this is like 100% true or not, uh, but it, this is this is probably the most 100% evidence that you'll probably actually need to get. Now, uh, like I said before, this is just a wild guess here and there, but. But to answer the, the, the possible question you know, for me and to everybody else here, is the 2011 The Muppet a true sequel to the original Muppet movie? To that I say yes, with some connections to the original Muppet movie here and there, throwing in with a, with a few uh, Easter eggs here and there. But my point being is this, that the standard rich and famous contract said that Walter basically just said that Kermit it has signed a piece of paper almost 30 years ago. It's definitely connected to the original Muppet movie. And the actual setting in 2011 The Muppets takes place in 2009. Which is absolutely insane. So, what do you think about this theory? Do you think it's true or not? Or it's a possibility? Or is it plausible? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, Jing, and I hope to see you all next time for more great content and wonderful entertainment. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Yes, it's over. How'd you like it? I don't know. I slept through the whole thing. Well, you didn't miss much.